All right, so welcome back to another episode of Finding Value Stocks. This time I'm talking about lithium mining companies. So I'm going to go through a bunch of lithium miners and calculate their enterprise value to total resource reserve equivalent and looking for the best value one out of the group. Um, And what you're going to end up seeing is that I actually make a mistake, but I'm still making money on this investment. But what I want to talk about is whether or not I should uh, continue to hold it and why it's valued where it is, because it's either fairly valued or fairly valued in terms of what the future value should be, or it's like double what I think it should be. So the company uh, that I'm going to pick is Standard Lithium. And so they're in a joint venture with a company called Land Excess, and uh, it's a this was my mistake, is that in the calculation, they show you their net present value uh, in terms of 100% ownership. But Standard Lithium only owns 30% of the joint venture. So you have to you know, divide all the values by a third. And that's where I made my mistake, is that I didn't realize that until after I had bought it. Um, but the good news is they had a lot of good backstory that was also helping them. So they're, uh, they were planning to uplist to the NYSE, and they've just announced in the last few days that they're going to do that uh, coming up this week on July 13th. Um, so once they announced that, the stock popped. And so basically my plan is, because I think it's either fa- fairly valued or double what it should be, I'm going to set a stop loss uh, for a little bit less than it is now because I'm already up like 84% from where I bought. So I just want to lock in those profits, and if it continues to go up, then I'll hold it. You know, I'm going to watch what happens when it gets on NYC. Uh, if it continues to go up, then I'll hold it for a little while longer. Um, it's an interesting company because they don't do the, your standard lithium production where they have a big uh, open evaporation pond. They're doing direct lithium extraction. And the, the company they partner with already has all the wells drilled and the brine source. And so this company... Standard Lithium is just building an attachment to the existing brine processing plant. Um, So there's no, uh, you know, the flow is already there. It's just the company that has the flow, Land Access, hasn't been extracting lithium out of it. But now this company is going to extract lithium. So I really thought that was a good um, uh, business model. And it's somewhat similar to the Excelsior Copper Mining Company that I talked about in another video. So in standard lithium's uh, preliminary economic analysis, they had a net present value pre-tax of 1.3 billion and a post-tax net present value of 1 billion. So if you divide that by a third, because they only have a 30% ownership, uh, you know, you're talking about $330 million. And right now their market cap is 640. So that's double what the net present value is. Um, But if you look at what their expected earnings, uh, like their net income will be, and you apply you know, a 10% enterprise value to EBITDA ratio to it, okay, now you're in the $640 million range where they're priced at now. So like I'm saying, either they're priced properly or they're double of what the net present value says they should be. So that's why I'm uh, iffy on their value, but because of the all positive story with lithium and uh, electric vehicles and they're uplisting to the NYC. Uh, and also inflation and lithium demand just going up, uh, maybe that will justify this price and even more. Um, But I'd like to know if anyone has a calculation of what they think the value should be uh, and maybe why I'm wrong or why I'm right. Uh, That's sort of why this channel exists, to get that dialogue going and have a place for people to talk about their their value analysis. Um, So I'm going to show you my analysis of of the lithium mining space and uh, show you why I picked into lithium. Uh, even though it was somewhat wrong, uh, it's good to learn from these mistakes. Uh, so let's, let's take a look. All right, so welcome back. Before I go to the spreadsheet, uh, I'm just going to show you the investor presentation for Standard Lithium. So this is the company that I ended up investing in. So they've updated their investor presentation to show their new NYC ticker symbol that's going to go live on July 13th. Right now they're on the over-the-counter market. Um, 
so this is the expected demand cur demand supply curve of lithium going forward you can see we currently have enough but uh, around 2028 they're expecting there to be a gap in supply so this company expects to be producing about 21,000 tons of lithium they they have the capability to expand to 70,000 uh, tons per year so let's talk about how they operate um, they're in this company I mean in this uh, city called uh, near the city called El Dorado in Arkansas um, there's a land excess uh, brine uh, operation that they're attaching onto so let's go to a schematic of how that works so Land Excess currently has this plant that extracts bromine from brine, from uh, you know, basically salty water from the earth, but they don't extract any lithium. So standard lithium is going to attach their plant uh, to the basically the wastewater of this bromine plant, and now they're going to extract the lithium, and then pump the water back into the earth. So they've come up with this direct lithium extraction process that allows them to extract lithium from the water without needing the evaporation ponds that most lithium producers use. So this saves them a, a, a lot of time and also it's envir more environmentally friendly because they don't need these huge uh, pieces of land where they're gonna evaporate the bromine, I mean, evaporate the brine. So that's an advantage they have also you know all these wells already drilled so they've already got this supply of brine going they just need to uh, put themselves in series with it uh, this is a picture of their demonstration plant here's a picture from above so you can see this is their current plan uh, they made this dem demonstration plant that can produce 100 to 150 tons per year uh, their phase one is 9,700 tons per year, phase two is another 8,300, and phase three is 3,000, and then they have the capability to do even more in the future. So this is just a picture of where they are. Um, so that's basically how the, how the company uh, is planning to operate. They also have this capability to uh, start up another section of extraction you know separate from the current plant that they're, that they're building and that's that's one thing that um, maybe why the market uh, is pricing this so well is that you know once these guys perfect this direct lithium extraction process they can go use it in other places and from other brine sources so Let's go into my lithium spreadsheet. So this is a list of all the lithium companies that we uh, analyzed. And so when I first did this analysis back in March um, is when I invested in the, the stock price was 260 ish and now it's up to 479. So it's been doing pretty well this past year. So yeah, I bought over here and now it's up at 479 um, but the funny thing is when I analyzed this I only had this line number six and when you do that the company looks like it's extremely undervalued because this is the total value of their the the lithium that they have in the ground but standard lithium only owns 30 percent of this joint venture between standard lithium and land excess so you have to take this uh, total value and multiply by 0.3 to actually get their portion. Now they have the option to go up to 40%, but uh, for a worst case, um, you know, when we're doing our conservative analysis we, to find value, we just want to go with the worst case. But uh, let me show you why I initially invested in this stock. Uh, so when you look at their market cap to net asset value, they're uh, the second lowest. Uh, except for Cyprus compared to their peers so they look like a really good value and I really liked the whole setup of their direct lithium extraction I thought it was a, a clean 
uh, setup that doesn't require as much permitting because they're not they're not changing the earth in any way. You know, land access was already extracting this brine, so there's not much new stuff going on. Um, but again, if you uh, if you look, it looked like they were going to be making 181 million dollars in profit a year. Uh, the market cap to profit ratio was the, uh, you know, the third lowest. So, so they looked like they were a good value pick in this uh, sector. But then, when you multiply everything by 0.3, you realize it's not such a good deal. <laughs> so their market cap to net asset value is already over one, and this was back in March. Now it's way over. And um, the only way that you can get a number that looks like they're valued properly right now is their expected profit is about $60 million a year. And then if you multiply that by a 10x uh, enterprise value to you know, earnings multiple, now you're up in the $500, $600 million uh, range, which is where their market cap is right now. So in that way they're they're kind of priced fair for once they start making money which they're not making money yet and then if you look at their um, net asset value which is 300 million they're they're priced double what they should be so this is why i'm wondering you know what am i missing what is the market uh you know giving them so much value for now maybe the nyc listing is is the reason Maybe it's just lithium momentum. Um, uh, I'm not sure. But that's why I chose this stock. And I, I think I need to redo this analysis and see if there's any good investments in this sector as of now. But like I said, I'm going to set a stop loss on standard lithium because I, I can't justify the, the price that they're at right now. But uh, who knows, just because of the NYSE listing and, and other things going on, they might continue to grow. So I don't want to lose any of that uh, ga possible gains. But I also want to lock in what, what we've got so far. Okay, so that was my analysis of the lithium market. Um, you know, one interesting thing I forgot to talk about standard lithium is, you know, once they develop this uh, lithium extraction process, in theory, they could apply it to other brine sources. So maybe that's some of the value that uh, is being there. They've also started talking about a second project um, that's nearby. Uh, uh, they call it Tetra. Um, I'm forgetting the full name, but basically they have two uh, two places they're looking at. One has uh, an 802 kiloton uh, resource equivalent. So anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you comment, subscribe, uh, like or dislike the video and tell me why I'm wrong or right. Uh, I want to hear it.